This is the scene from three months ago. An elderly woman hit by a car crossing the road from church to her house. Her killer didn't stop. Instead, he kept right on driving. This is Anita. And whoever hit her, you hit somebody and you need to turn yourself in. Now, three months later, Anita Wernsing's killer hasn't been caught. Few witnesses and little evidence have left the family clueless. The fact that nobody said anything, nobody really knows anything, and we're just stuck in limbo waiting to find out if the police are going to get lucky enough to get some clues. As for Wernsing's longtime neighbor, he too is having trouble wrapping his mind around what happened. The person that did that, I don't understand how they could... Uh, hit somebody like that and and just keep on going. He and his wife were used to Wernsing's everyday visits. She missed a day we thought she was sick, but she never got sick, I don't think, did she? <laughs> now, they'll never see her again and have little hope her killer will be brought to justice. I think it, it, it would only be a, 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 a miracle if they could ever find him or get in touch with him, but I don't think they ever will. Family and friends aren't giving up. They've teamed up with Crime Stoppers to create this flyer, offering a reward to anyone who knows information. At this point, we're willing to accept for let's get some information on the car, let's get some information on the person, then we can go from there and see what we can find out. For now, all they can do is wait. In Fayette, Brianda Gore, Fox 59 News.